I'm about to stop doing little girl's hair because um, y'all parents, for one, y'all don't comb. When I made little girls, I made little girls. First of all, y'all know the little lady that hit me up um, like around Thanksgiving, Christmas and asked me to do her daughter hair. She said, can I put a perm in it? Uh, I sure can't. Like, baby, I value my license too much. You'd be putting any kind of, I don't even put relaxer in my hair. So why would I put a relaxer in your daughter hair? Oh, okay, thank you. And then on top of that, she's two and a half. I was like, no. She said, oh, she other. She said, oh, you know, uh, I've been putting relaxer in her hair since she was six months. Baby, you tell your, your child scalp up. Like, I felt like I should have called CPS on her. Now, the little girl hair is, ooh, the little girl hair is other, like, it ain't just black hair. It ain't just Kunta Kente hair. It's it's other hair. Like the lady Nigerian. And you know the Nigerians, they push you anyway. But I was just sitting here thinking because she texted me just now and said uh, one of her co-workers daughter, wanted to know, can I braid her daughter hair? I said, how old is she? said, one. I said, no, ma'am. She said, you can't braid her hair? Hell no. Nah. Because first of all, I'm not about to braid your daughter hair no more and die. Man, y'all, this little girl scream and holler because she tender headed. I'm tender headed. But this little girl is a whole nother level of tender head. Like, if anybody touched her head, she go, I picked up the comb and she started crying. I said, not today, Lord. Not this day. Like, this was on Monday. This is when I was like, I was going to go live on Monday. But my head was hurting so bad, I went home to cook and went to sleep. Because I was, like, mentally drained. The little girl screamed from the time her mama said, then her mama put her in a chair. And kind of, like, hugged her. So, And I'm looking like, you got your chin on her head. And every time I get ready to part, I'm hitting your nose. Like, that's nasty. And then you sit in the shampoo chair. Like, can you sit in the silent chair? So I'm bending down trying to braid your daughter hair. Like, come on now. But then you done recommended me to somebody else and I ain't want to do your daughter hair? Girl, bye. This even with the why not. Because I don't want to. I don't want to do no little girl hair. First of all. And then she said the little girl need a perm too. Why y'all keep putting these relaxers in these little girl's heads? Like, for real, for real. You tearing up their scalp. And then... So I'm so I'm part of the little girl here, and I'm like, why her scalp pink? Like, if it was soon, if I would have seen any drop of blood, if I would have seen a piece of blood just come out that little girl's scalp, maybe I would have threw comb, cape, everything away, and told her, uh, you may exit. Maybe your daughter got sores and open wounds in her head, but she just slapped a relaxer on the little girl head, and then put it in the ponytail, and just left it like that, and then and it was dry. Oh, it was so dry. I mean, I had to go put some lusters. And some blue magic. And I keep that down below. I don't need to keep that up high. But I had to put that on that little girl. And it just said. It just sucked it all up. And you talking about some. Can you go easy? Hell no. Nah. You don't want this little nappy headed girl up here. You talking about can I go easy? You should have went easy. And, and start combing the girl, the middle part of this little girl head. She had a ponytail right here. And a ponytail back here. And in the middle. Both of it matted. So you know what I did? I braided everything to one ponytail. It was still matted in the middle. I don't care. And then she said we're going to leave this like this for two months. So ain't no telling how don't let a little girl hair be mad in the middle, but it's gonna be mad for two more months. Cause I politely just braid it just into a ponytail and put some beads on it. Then she said, Can you not put so many beads in her hair? Cause her head be heavy. And last time she was walking like a this. Don't come in here and tell me what I should and should do. Baby, you should do your own daughter. You keep that little funky $75 for real, for real. Keep that. Like all money ain't worth it. Like that right there. Like I can't even make this stuff up. I had Kiki sitting in here, and she was like, auntie, like, for real. And I was like, see, if I went live just now and just told you the world, just what just happened in my chair, wouldn't nobody believe it. But she was here, and she witnessed it. And the little girl was so strong. Like, the mama kept trying to hold her, but she kept breaking loose. Like, And I was like, do your daughter wrestle baby bulls? Like, why is she so strong? Like, this little girl's strong as hell. Like, her mama had, like, and then they, they got a little stench to them. I wasn't going to say nothing, but if you got a stench, are you sick? Don't come up in here. Don't don't be, hey, girl, hey, girl, nothing. When you cure from get cured from Ebola, then you come see me and, 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 and wash yourself. Because I know Nigerians, they cook with, you know, goat and fish and this and that. But I don't need you to walk in here smelling like what you just ate or fried or uh, a deep fried or steamed at home. I don't want that smell just... Because I'm in a room now. I ain't out in the open. Baby, I got a, a, a whole room. 
And I closed my door. I turned the fan on. Like, that ass Kiki. I should have tagged her, but ass Kiki. Kiki was like, Auntie, what's that smell? Baby, booty. I don't know. I don't know what the smell was. But I'm about to stop doing little girl's hair. If you are under the age, of, first of all, if you're just a screamer, I can't rock with you. Uh, If you don't even do your daughter hair yourself and you just try to come bring it to me, that's a negative. I'm not about to do that either. I don't know why people don't want to comb their own child's head. Like, and I'm the one. I don't comb. Y'all see Bookie head. Bookie head be looking rough. Oh, this this mannequin is throwing y'all off in the back. I had to, um, first of all, I'm going to be a guest speaker this evening at a cosmetology school. I'm going to be giving a class on braidless sewing. So I have to prepare myself to get into Miss Cherie mode. Y'all know I ain't taught nobody nothing since 2011. Just my instructor days are over. I can't no my nerves too bad. I can't teach nobody nothing. So uh, I will be teaching tonight at a cosmetology school. I had to go get a mannequin. Boy, these they done got uh, skimpy with the little mannequin hairs. I got to give a whole night. See, I y'all ain't used to seeing a mannequin with a whole head of hair. I just got to cut the end so I can, uh, oh, snap. Let me just put her down here. But, yeah, it's just public service announcement. I'm not doing no little kids here. If you are under the age of five and you scream, I don't give a hell if you're 11 and you scream. Don't. Don't bring them to me. Because I'm going to tell you, just all money ain't good money. Just no thank you, but no thank you. I can refer you to somebody else because my nerves not that good. Y'all know I have a whole crazy house at home that I have to go home and deal with and then deal with your screaming devilish child. I'm good. Mm -mm. And you know what? When I got done with that little girl here, I was about to walk to 7-Eleven over here and go get me one of them little bottles of wine because that's how stressed I was. But when I locked the door, I just prayed and I came back and I did kick your hair. Like I told you, like I was about to go buy me some wine for real, for real. But I had to pray just walking back down the hallway because I was about to have a meltdown. This up, can you can you go gentle? Hell no, nah, you didn't go gentle. You didn't threw this little girl up in the ponytail and brought it to me. Hell no. Nah. Mm-mm. I just wanted to tell y'all that I'm through with little girls. Don't bring them to me. Don't send me, don't inbox me talking about, hey, girl, my little niece just came in town. I'm sorry. I put her some pigtails. But, but matter of fact, I can't even do that because I don't even want to do that here no more, period. But go on YouTube. Y'all on YouTube for everything else. Go on YouTube figure out how to do a little girl here. But other than that, y'all have a marvelous day. I am about to finish uh, making this wig and fix this mannequin and get my, uh, my message ready for this afternoon at 6 o'clock so I can give this class. And get this money. You you want you want me to tell you something, teach you something, speak on something. You got to pay me. Give me my coins. Anywho, y'all be great. Don't let nobody take the greatness from you. And uh, y'all have a marvelous day. I'm about to go back to mind my business and ignore all messages that anybody asks me. Can I do a little girl hair? So.